What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Distinguished Kick. Back again with another review. I know it's been a minute, but it does take time to get some of these things. Um, before I go any further with this, first, let me say, hope everyone's out there blessed, safe, and enjoying this time at home, because it is cold outside. And um, if you like the, the review afterwards, like, comment, subscribe below, at the below. At the below, I'm sorry, at the bottom. And let me know what you think about these. So... Uh, Nike, back in 1995, have a gentleman named Sergio who did a remarkable design of a running shoe at the time was kind of revolutionary. I should know because back in 95, I was around, so I'm telling too much of my age. But anyway, I've seen these shoes already. Um, they were on sneakers, not sneakers, they was on Nike. And uh, Nike had a uh, additional 25% off going on this past weekend, so I took advantage of it. Uh, I like the design. My wife is not wife approved, but hey, there's a lot of history on, on this particular design, and I'm going to show you why. So let's start with the, uh, I would say the box, but this is how the box came to me. I'm a little upset about that. But here we go. The uh, Nike Air Max 95 QS. Um, Team Red Summit White Equip Rogue Blanc Summit in size 12. That's the uh, model number. And like I said, I did get these off of a discounted price off of Nike. Uh, I believe it was under $90. So, as you can see, my box is kind of damaged. Um, I don't know if it's caused by shipping, but you know. Normally, it'll come better, but this is from a quick strike. Um, and all your quick strikes usually come in a black with the Nike and a gloss black. Uh, no other details about the box. So I'm just gonna show you this. Let's open up the box. You can see right here, and let's remove the paper. But let me show you the little QR sticker. So let's remove the paper, and as you can see right here. The Air Max 95 QS autonomy of air now Sergio I don't want to say his last thing because I know I destroy it uh, but anyway he based his design off of human anatomy so if you ever have an Air Max 95 and you didn't know why you have these ro these uh, rows of colors and stuff that is the reason why each row is, is designed based off of a rib cage if I'm correct trust but verify but yes, they're based off a of rib cage of the human anatomy. This one in particular is pretty much like the layers of skin and muscle tissue. Kind of gross, but it is kind of cool in a way. Um, let's start with the colors. Now, as you can see right here, you see the colors go from a red to a light red to a pink to like a, a lighter pink to an all white, which is kind of cool. Uh, each stripe has its own stitching which is different because most of the Air Max 95s, they don't have all the stitching going through each column of colors. You see the Nike on the back right here, right by the ankle. The very back, you have your Nike Air with that nice, uh, I want to call it a sail color. In the front of the toe box itself, you have the front of the toe box, which has the outline of stitching going across which is kind of different, but they, I believe they call this like a, this is supposed to be suede. I don't think it's suede, but it could be. It's just the way how the stitching goes across, kind of matted down. Uh, the top of the shoe, the white part, apparently it must be a synthetic suede itself. Now that I do believe. The uh, laces themselves are a uh, regular rope lace that's twisted all the way up to where you have at the tips, the aglets themselves are metal and a nice pinkish color. The tongue that you see itself has the Air Max that's also supposed to be representing uh, muscle tissues and stuff in a nylon material. And you also have a perforated um, tongue which gives you better breathing. You have that center part which is made out of that cell color that's also reflective. And as you can see where the laces are being held, um, those are also fabric. That's in that cell color. Let's look on the medial side. Medial side, no different. Now the foam midsoles. 
So that's where the magic starts. Now, if you ever wore a 95, you know how comfortable these are. Once you break them in, they're the best shoes you ever have. But as you can see, you can see how the midsole's got that nice sail color right there. Uh, with the air pockets, they're both separated. You had your heel back here, which is separated from the front of the, of the shoe itself. Then you had the bottom, which is made of that rubber translucent. And if you look right here in the, in the center part on the heel, it shows more of anatomy of the muscles, tissues, and stuff of the body with Nike Air in the center of that. The rubber ins the rubber mids outsoles, which is nice. On the inside, you also have that nice um, foam insert, which is in pink. Bear with me, I'm doing this with one hand, still holding the camera. If I could take it out, I can, but I can't. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. If you look at the lighting, you can see where it shows the Nike Air in that nice um, red color. And the insoles is like a pink color. And also around the collar is a nice nylon gray material on the back of the tongue also to match the inside of the shoe. And if you look on the back of the tongue, you will see where it says autonomy. Uh, let me get it better. Autonomy of air. Let me pull out the other one. Sit these on top of the box. And there you have it. The, autonomy, the Nike Air Max XQ Autonomy of Air. Very nice shoe. Would I have spent the $180 for it? Not really. When it first came out, I didn't. But when the price went down, that's when I pulled the trigger. And to me, I'm still on the fence about whether I'm going to keep them or not. I don't know. Like I said, my wife don't like them. But, hey, if you like them, you like them. It's, it's what you love in the, whatever color of shoes that you like to rock. These, you know, you can match these up with something like black, gray, whatever color, red. Who knows? You could probably do something. I, not red trust me not red but anyway that's it on my review on these like i say leave a comment below let me know what you think about these and did you take advantage of the 25 percent off at the nike over the uh, nike sale uh i think it was like uh, members 25 that's what it was the code that you had to use to get these plus there was also additional uh on these which make it down to the price that i paid for them and we had a shock drop today today's thursday did anybody hit on the Jordan 3 reimagines? I took a big fat L. So let's just see how things go. And like a lot of people are upset about it. Why? Look, they're coming out later on this month. And like they always say, did you really take an L if you save over $200? I think you won. So let's just see how it goes next, next month. And just, you know, wait and be patient. This game is a patient game. And, um, yeah, I'm patient. So, anyway, that's the end of my review on these. Like I said before, let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you hit, hit on the uh, Reimagined 3s and what other shoes you plan on picking up later on this year. Because I think, to me, May is going to be a nice month, if you know what I mean. Uh, we just seen the Jordan review, and I think May, to me, is hot. So, anyway, I'll holler at y'all later. I got to do some more reviews. Um, stay tuned. There's some stuff coming up. I might do another one real quick, so you might see this one being posted and another one coming up after that. All right. Stay blessed. Be safe out there. Like I always say, aim for something. You're going to miss everything. Peace out, y'all.